Good morning, folks. We've got space weather, a new paper about how it affects your health, forecasting a big earthquake in California, imaging objects just out past Pluto, and the magnetic universe got a boost yesterday. Let's get started over at spaceweathernews.com. We're looking at the last 24 hours on our star. We see crackling at the bright active region, but not much larger than what is housed within the spots themselves. Incoming, we've got the coronal hole, and in 304 angstroms, you see a large plasma filament creeping in behind it. You can also see the ion action within the spot there, too. The sunspots are still mostly powerful at the lead and trailing portion. Still no bigger solar flares, but we'll keep watching due to development in the middle. It has been slow and sparse, but we've got good beta polarity in the middle this morning and our near gamma class magnetism. Quick look at the solar wind reveals variable streams but which are within relatively normal range of telemetry. The coronal holes are the most likely next perturber of those streams early next week when they arrive at Earth. The coronal hole is also anchoring an earthquake watch, increasing risk of magnitude 7 events here within a week. On to our top stories. A triple exoplanet system at GJ9827, 100 light years away, has been used to understand a fine line of exoplanet formation, once seen numerous times across the cosmos. It turns out that the 1.7 Earth radius line is the dividing line. Worlds smaller than that are destined to be rocky, like Earth or Mars, while the super-Earths in excess of 1.7 Earth radii are destined to be more gaseous, like sub-Neptunes. This will ease the initial diagnosis load on exoplanet systems simply by knowing the planet radius. Let's come back to Earth for a moment. We're at California's Bay Area, where simulations of the next big earthquake paint a horrifying picture for the area and a higher chance of a shorter timeline than any of us would hope to see. It would be a devastating event. Up next, one of the links shared on yesterday's comment section is to the latest space weather health article. Cosmic rays seem to be just as major a player as we all thought, especially in terms of overall mortality in this instance beyond the cardiac and psychological effects already established in the literature. Terrific article out of Chicago on turbulent plasma and the creation of cosmic magnetic fields powerful enough for stars and galaxies. And move over, CERN. While their field is powerful but smaller than a mosquito, this experiment produced fields ten times stronger, up to a million times the strength of Earth's field, and spread over only slightly larger areas about the size of a penny. Lastly, on the article front, we've got New Horizons out near Pluto snapping the first ever shots like this of two Kuiper Belt objects. These false color images are two of the objects discovered in 2012 and which are both sitting right behind Pluto, which made the shots so easy for New Horizons to get. By the way, yes, indeed, all the planets are on one side of the sun except for Earth right now. Remember, we've likely got thousands of these trans-Neptunian masses out there in Kuiper orbits. These two just happen to be close to Pluto and only about 40 AU from the star. Space weather and your health, a critically important subject of study and one that can affect everyone on some range of the scale. As Earth's magnetic field weakens, all the correlation should get stronger and right now there is only one place on Earth to get space weather health alerts, the Disaster Prediction App, space weather, earthquakes, cosmic rays, and their possible effects. Folks, it's Saturday, so website members, you've got your podcast coming up in just a few hours. And at 9.30 a.m. Eastern Time, we'll be on the chat session for the pre-show discussion. Bring your questions. Your support keeps these shows coming out here on YouTube. We've got your wind maps and shots of our star to close. We'll do this all again tomorrow, right here. But right now, it's 4.45 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.